Happy Wednesday. This is the only coat I wore out today. This. It was in the 50s. And beautiful. It was beautiful. Okay, first I'm going to do some questions. I'm going to do six questions from Jasmine, Queen Tiger Holly. And one, two, three, four questions from Steve. And I'm really scared of Steve's questions because I haven't read them yet. And I've noticed that they're really long. And they're probably some really story, weird scenario that I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do to get out of that scenario. And then I'm going to talk about what we did today. Because we just got home. We've been gone all day. Um, okay, here we go. Number one, meat or vegetarian eater? I'm a carnivore. Um, two, would you eat snails if they were on a menu in a restaurant? I would try them once. If I liked them, I would eat them again. If not, I wouldn't eat them again. Number three, do you or would you like to grow your own vegetables? We don't anymore. When I was a kid, I grew everything. We have, uh, we get stuff out of grandma's garden. We used to grow like, let's see, green beans and zucchini and squash and peppers and tomatoes and my grandma had okra and corn. One year my grandpa even grew peanuts and yeah. We, we are garden people but we don't have one here anymore. Number four, in what way would you try to be creative in doing a kid's meal? I don't really know. I don't know. I'm gonna pass on that because I don't know. Kitty, see, door shut. She's like, I want out. Come here. What seafood do you enjoy eating? I love shrimp a lot. Um, and scallops and cra I like all that stuff. I love s seafood more than I like fish. I do like fish, but uh, uh, a lot less than like other seafood type things. How would you create a romantic meal at home? Well, since I really don't have any need for a romantic dinner at home, I don't know. My hair is finally dry. I went out with wet hair today. Okay. Steve's questions. You came home from work unexpectedly and find your spouse lounging about the house wearing the opposite sex underwear. What do you say and what do you do? Um, I'm pretty open-minded so it wouldn't bother me. I would be like, want to go shopping? You want some more undies? Uh, I, I, it wouldn't bother me. I used to have, a, I had a friend who was a crossdresser, um, who I met online and he sent some money to me for me and my friends to go buy him some feminine things. And we were, we were in the store shop and I was holding up like these bras and stuff. And I'm like, do you think this would fit him? And people gave us odd looks. Um, number two, you run to your mom's house for consolation, for full, for consolation and advice only to have your mama tell you that it's no big deal. Oh, this honestly goes on to the other question. Your father has enjoyed wearing woman underwear for years. What do you do? What do you say? Um, I'd be like, oh, all right. Like I said, I'm pretty open-minded, so none of that would shock me. It wouldn't shock me. You ask your mama if you could go upstairs to lie down and rest to take all of this in. And while in your old bedroom, you stumble across your baby book and out falls adoption papers. What do you say? What do you do? I'd be like, um, I just ask him. My dad's told me I've been adopted for years. Yeah, I'm, I look too much like him and my mom. But um, I would just ask questions. I wouldn't freak out. At least I don't think I would. Uh, number four, you call out to your mama to explain this. Were you adopted? She tearfully explains that yes, you are the result of an affair between your father and the then town whore. Oh, my mama's a whore. Who unapologetically broke up their marriage and who now is your ch child's kindergarten teacher at school. Someone your child adores and looks up to. What do you say and what do you do? Wait, let me read this over again. I'm a result of my father and the town whore, who is now my child's kindergarten teacher at school, who my child adores. 
I don't really know what I would do. I don't know. These are hard to answer, Steve. Where do you come up with this crap? Really? I'm done with those. Um, we left early today and went shopping. I called into work at like 11 to see if there was enough there for me to even bother going in with. And there wasn't. So I'm like, I'll be there tomorrow morning. So I have to go tomorrow. But and then I went, did my whole get my coupons laid out and figure out what I had and where we're going to go and all this and that. So we went to Sam's Club to buy Heidi some of her dog treats that she likes. And I got some green beans and a box of Rice Krispie Treats, and Dad got some orange juice, you know, just some random little things. And then from there, we went to Martin's Supermarket, where I bought some V8 Fusion, because they had it on sale two for four, and V8 Fusion, excuse me, some pork chops, boneless pork chops, which I'm going to bake in the oven, maybe tomorrow or the next day, and some sushi, which I have here. I have two. I have, this is called Full Moon, which is a combo, and this is just um, cream cheese roll. So I have a little of each, and then I'll have some left for later on tonight. Um, then we left there, hi, and went to um, Myers, and I did a little baby shopping, which I got, I got to get that stuff together in a package to send off to Jason and Andre for the baby shower. I bought one of these. I wasn't, and then I was, and I wasn't, and I was, and I've gone there twice, and they've had them, and I bought another one of these card boxes, and this one was on clearance for $6.99, and there's 24 greeting cards in here, so come on now. For $6.99, 24 cards in a nice box. I can't help it. I'm addicted to buying them. Um, I bought some manners and persimmons and... Um, some bacon. I just bought some random stuff. I did a lot of coupon shopping. Um, looked around. I was going down the frozen food aisle and I was looking for Stouffer's frozen dinner. My dad likes the lasagna, the family size lasagna. And I had a coupon for a dollar off and they had them on sale today. So I'm like, I'll, I'll get him a lasagna because I know he likes it. And one night when we don't know what we want for dinner, we'll just pop that in the oven. And so I'm sitting there getting one, and this woman's going by with her kids going, we need to find some garlic bread or something. I'm like, I have a coupon for Texas Toast. So I gave her the coupon, and later on she saw me. She goes, I'm so going to use that Texas Toast coupon. I already got some. Because <laughs> I just had it in there. I didn't plan on using it, and I, I didn't want it to go to waste. So save her some money. I've also cut out coupons that I don't want. When I see things on sale, I'll leave them, like, if I'm shopping and I have a coupon for something I'm not going to buy. And it's getting ready to expire. I'll set it by the product in the aisle so somebody might use it. Um, oh, I gotta go because Dad's asking a question about what I want to DVR because I'm gonna DVR American Idol because I want to watch Survivor tonight. Survivor people. So I'm gonna go watch some videos after this while I eat some sushi, do a little commenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today was a pretty good day. I think this weekend I'm going to go shop for a new box springs and mattress. I looked at them today at Sam's Club, but everything is just the pillow top on one side and they're not flippable. I want a flippable pillow top. See, this is, has a little pillow top on each side so I can flip it. I want a flippable mattress. Is that too hard to ask for, to have a flippable mattress? All right, rolling. Bye.